Hey y'all, I've got this edition of the One Hitter Weed Review for you. This time we'll be covering the Purple Citrell from San Rafael. I can't wait to take the first taste of this strain. We'll be back right away y'all. Sit down. Sit down. Hey guys, so this Purple Citrell from San Rafael came in with a THC content of 13.26% and a CBD total of 0.01%. So, this Purple Citrell is also a Pakistani Citral Kush. So Citral is a town in Pakistan known for making some of the best hash in the region. It is a pure Indica land race. PCK or the Purple Citral Kush. It's known to produce colorful phenotypes, and the strain's high resin production enables the strain to produce top quality concentrates. Just hearing that has me really, really excited because I've got a rosin press, and it might mean a little bit of rosin is pressed out of this at some point in time. But with that information and the next little bit that I've got, it's all off the Leafly website. So please feel free to go there for more information or for any extra information that you guys might want on any of your strains. So the top five effects of Purple Citrell are relaxed, happy, sleepy, euphoric, and hungry. It helps with stress, insomnia, pain, anxiety, and depression. And the top four negatives are dry mouth, dry eyes, dizzy, and a headache. Now, we're going to hop on over to the herbage scale and see how great this bud actually is. Hey, y'all. So, let's hop right into this bud and... Oh, just open up this container and I am greeted with some beautiful dark dark nugs and oh it just the smell is really really potent coming out of there ooh nice earthy almost cheesy kind of smells to it got the bud right here that is beautiful beautifully dark right there oh we got another really really nice one in there it is coated with a very very light crystal an orange pistol shooting out of it nice green leaves along with a deep Dense purple nugs. That is a very, very beautiful, beautiful strain. That smells unreal. It's got that really, really sweet, welcoming first smell to it. And then it goes into a really, really cheesy. Oh, for the look and the smell, you guys... It's going to get a 4 of a 5 just because of how dry it is. Um, it is a little drier. It was packed on the ninth month. So that would be August or September. 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 So that would be packed in September. Yeah, it's just it's a little dry. If it was fresher... Or had a moisture pack in it, or I had had I put a moisture pack in it, it definitely has the potential to get a five out of a five for the look and the aroma. But oh, I am very very excited to try this strain. Okay, we're gonna go on over to taste room of bong, you guys. Hey y'all, I'm gonna sneak a little bit of a shameless plug in right here, but. This dope sea turtle bong is one of the hemper rigs that I have. And if you guys want to check out a hemper rig of your own, use the discount code ROTL for discount on your first subscription box. Or go and use the link in my Instagram bio for a discount that way. Cheers, y'all. 
Hey y'all. So we got this purple citrell ground up and it is just absolutely beautiful. Nice dark purple with good light green excess leaf in there. I've got it loaded up in this dope little sea turtle bong. Let's hop right on to first tapes from a bong. Cheers. Hey y'all, you know, we don't just ever take one rip when we're doing the one hater read review. Cheers y'all, got it loaded up in the Kush rig. Let's see how she tastes this time. Hey y'all, so this taste from a bong is only going to get a 3 out of 5. I was really, really excited when I first got my look look at it and was smelling it. I was really, really getting excited for that sweet to skunky transition. Um, when I was smoking this through both a little sea turtle bong from Hemper and the Kush rig, I found I just got the skunky and it wasn't really the enjoyable part of the skunky because there are some strains um <clears throat> like an Afghan that I really an Afghani Kush that I really enjoy the skunky flavor to it. But it usually has something in it that's appealing. Like a lemon skunk, really, really enjoy it because it's lemon is a part of it with the skunky aftertaste. I like the skunky aftertaste. I just don't like it through the entire portion of it. If it had something, and I think if it was a little bit more humid in the container or the Bud's Refresher, it would have a sweetness to get me. Because I can, it it's, seems like it could be there, but it just doesn't taste like it. Hey guys, so we're going to be using this Crave straight pipe again. Cheers, y'all. Hey guys, when I was smoking this through the pipe, it surprised me how much different the flavor was coming when you didn't have the water filtration. And I ended up getting a 4 out of a 5 because it tasted really, really similar to this UK cheese strain that the Prodigy ended up hooking me up with this summer when we were golfing. It has this really strong, skunky flavor that actually follows up this really light, but again, in that similar skunky way, cheesy flavor. It's that UK cheese really really similar actually to that it's definitely a resi tasting strain too but really really enjoyable and it's definitely something that i would enjoy smoking from a pipe if i'm around a campfire or like a joint i just think the resin may be a point of concern so i'm gonna give this a four out of a five for its high it is nice and relaxing it's something that i actually really really am enjoying to smoke and like it's it would, it, it's actually going to be a very good strain to smoke before going to work just to help alleviate some of that stress anxiety just to help relax that little bit to chill out it's very very enjoyable that way it's nice that it's not too heavy on the sleep side where it's getting you to, oh, I just want to crawl into bed or crawl into the couch, right? Like, you don't get that 
I'm finding that I don't get that couch lock, but if you smoke too much of this, you definitely could very, very easily. Um, the hunger, I could see this strain again if you smoke too much, easily becoming a munchy based strain. But I really am enjoying the effects of this bud. I look forward to smoking it again, and it is something that I I'll likely buy again more for the elements of the high than other things. So with the 4 at the end, it ends up getting a 15 out of 20. And like I was just saying in the high, when I was rating the high, it's something that I would buy for alleviation. It's very, very, very nice strain for just giving that little bit of an uplift with the nice relaxation that goes with it as well. So you get that, oh, let's go get stuff done, but it's not a whole, oh, I need to get everything done right away. I need to get everything done right now. It's nice and relaxed and very, very enjoyable. I am absolutely going to be smoking myself another bowl of this very, very soon. Hey YouTube, I want to say thank you so much for checking out this video. When the end card does slide in here, you're going to see up in the corner the right of the leaf logo. Please click that and hit subscribe because it costs you nothing and it really does make my day better. There's a couple of videos on the bottom. One is YouTube's suggestion for the best video for you and the other one is my newest video. Hope you guys click on one of those and enjoy it as well or any of the other videos that Ready Leaf has to offer. Cheers y'all. Have a good day.